job. Check out these pictures. She makes superhero capes for sick and disabled children, over 120,000 and counting. Even cooler is how she connects and supports their families. Uh, she's the founder of Tiny Superheroes. Please welcome Robin, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, this is Joe. So happy so nice to meet you. It's yeah. nice meeting you, yeah. yeah. Met in the break, but we were pretending on TV. Um, so, <laughs> so how did you come up with the idea? It's generous, because I, I definitely didn't come up with the idea. It definitely, like, found me. I feel like it's this entity oh, yeah. that put me in charge somehow. Yeah, but, you You're know, the vessel for it, yeah. Yeah, the first thing I ever sewed in my whole life was a superhero cape. I had, like, a sewing machine my husband gave me, but I never used it, but my nephew was turning two. Yeah. And I was like, what do you get him? A superhero cape. Yeah. So I made him a cape. It was cute. He didn't really care, but it was super cute. Yeah. So um, I had a one-year-old at the time. I made him a cape, and we had a puppy. I made him a cape. Then I sold, like, three on Etsy, which felt pretty good. Yeah. You know? But really what happened is, like, it's a moment I won't forget, but I was in my rocking chair with my baby, my first son, and I was scrolling on Facebook, which isn't how you should rock your son, but it's what I was doing. No judgment. Yeah. And, no um, judgment. There was a story of this little girl who was unexpectedly born with a very severe condition. And, you know, it was the first time as a mom that that, like, was like, oh, my gosh, it could have been me, yeah. you know? What also struck me was this story. So the girl was, like, you not, they didn't know if she was going to make it. And her mom is sharing her story, and it's full of gratitude. And it was, like, mind-blowing. Like, would I be writing that way? Would you be in that state of mind? Yeah. yeah. You know? And it was, like, the best aha moment of my life. I was like, she needs a cape. So I sent her a cape. Oh, that's so special. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> The flash, I love it. And this is this is so random, but you're on the board at the Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh, right? That's right. So how did you get involved? How did I get involved with children? Yeah, how did um, you get involved? Yeah, I, I, I love Pittsburgh. I love children. Um, I wanted a way to stay connected to Pittsburgh. And, um, you know, I, I would go and visit every time I was in town. Yeah. And um, just seeing these young kids really fighting battles that are way past their years you know mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to see them out having fun and playing and um i also found like you said that that they're incredibly inspirational that, mm -hmm. that they have they have a better attitude about anyone that i know about life mm -hmm. and about what they're going through and so anything i could do to help them and then of course people don't necessarily think about the parents mm -hmm. who can't be there because they're working jobs while the kids are in the hospital so the kids are there all alone so I try to do a lot of fundraising to raise money to, to ease the financial burden of the parents so that they can take time off of work, they can be there, they That's can incredible. you know be with the kids. Yeah. That's a, people don't often think of the family. Yeah. But that affects the whole family. The whole family, yeah. It's yeah. also important to know that you doing that means so much to the kids. Mm -hmm. Like it real like it matters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, it's really nice of you to say, but but I like I wasn't anything a kid could watch until a few years ago. <laughs> so I go to the hospital and the kids were like, "Who are you?" Uh, and they're like, "I'm like I'm a werewolf." And they're like, "You're not in Twilight." And I'm like, "Your mom knows who I am." You know. <laughs> Trust me. I love that so much. Mom would be in the corner going. <laughs> you know. Oh my God! I heard it. You yeah. thought I didn't hear it. Somebody up there said, we still do. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. You're uh, helping all, all parts of the family yeah. there. Um, so <laughs> so the, the company, though, it's more than just about capes, right? Yeah, the cape is the beginning. So everybody who gets a cape and everyone who's nominated gets a cape joins our squad. Yeah. And um, it's like the beginning of their relationship with us. It's the beginning of their journey. But we start our mission program. So I actually brought two to show you. So every month, our squad can do a mission, which is practicing one of our superpowers. So there's an activity they do. They submit it, and they get a free patch that goes on their cape. So their capes are becoming oh. like... Oh, my gosh, yeah. I would so love I, this. So I brought two, yeah. So I brought... Um, this one's a mindfulness mission. That, so I brought this for you. That's for you, yes. Thank you. This was one of our generosity <laughs> missions. So we taught them breathing exercises during a mission. Mindfulness, yeah. This one we taught them, like, ways to give to people in need. And, like, they're always free to do, like, anyone could do it. Do I it. love the patch thing. Yeah. is so cool. It's man. a game. It's a yeah. game. Yeah, it's a game. You get to play a, a game. game. You get to earn these like, patches. I have it, right? You yeah, get yeah. mail every month. Like, if yeah. we earned a patch for the briefcase game, like, I would just you, get one. He wouldn't. Totally. <laughs> 
Meet Elizabeth, everybody. She turned to tiny superheroes when her son TJ was born prematurely. Um, she's never met. You've never met Robin until now, right? I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Well, intros. <laughs> And also, Wait, this cry. is Joe. Yes. Hi. <laughs> um, so tell us about TJ. So TJ was born uh, at 24 weeks, which is four months early, yeah. really, really young. Uh, he was 25 ounces, fit in the palm of your hand. Wow. Um, lots of trials and tribulations. We were in the hospital for 250 days, oh my God. our first day. And um, he was on a ventilator, 11% chance of survival, um, just really, didn't know if he would make it and didn't know if he would come home at all, let alone with, you know, lifelong disabilities. Uh, so halfway through our stay, I started trying to find some avenues that were helpful for us as parents, but also inclusive for the kiddos. And I um, found Tiny Superheroes mm -hmm. and nominated him with our family. We raised some funds. It was a, it was a really kind of fun experience, but um, he got it and then he had multiple surgeries after that, and we would wear it. When we got discharged, he would bring it back with him to the hospital. Um, boosted his confidence, but how wonderful for us to have an a environment and a community that's inclusive for our children, like TJ. Yeah. It was fantastic. And it becomes something like my kids even with like their blanket. Oh, or, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It yes. comes to comfort as yep. well. Um, so how did, how did Tiny Superheroes help your whole family, you think? So um, being inclusive for TJ obviously was the biggest thing, right? He's, he's special needs, he's got cerebral palsy. Um, we have met so many people through this community. Oh, I don't know amazing. if you know how I many know. people. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And he loves it and he's doing fantastic now. He's walking, he's talking, he's, oh, he's just, yeah. Wow. He's wonderful, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, TJ and his father, Tyler, are here, so come on out. <laughs> I mean, I remember when my littles, when they were that little and they would hug my neck like that. Oh my just, gosh. Are you sure? Yeah. So Elizabeth and Tyler, I know that y'all wanted to say something to Robin, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, first off, thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you. And this, I mean, him, he's amazing. But the community that you've created and along with all that, all the nurses and stuff that's helped him along the way, I have made a career change. And I am a nurse care tech at the hospital that he was born at. <laughs> And I'm in nursing school. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. You definitely, when you do work like this, you'll hopefully agree. You definitely get more than you give. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you, you can't give enough to replace how it affects you. You mm -hmm. know? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think you know how much you have changed our family and the families that get these capes. It is. I mean, it's just life changing to see. I mean, he, he very well couldn't have been here today. And if he hadn't had the fight in him, right? And things like this give him that little boost. <laughs> so, well, thank we you. We just, all of us, all of us are so thankful for you I, and thank things you. that you do. And, you know, having this story on your show, it's just it's it's fantastic. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I love <laughs> having beautiful people on my show. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Man, are you getting ideas for next time you go to the hospital? You gotta get, you gotta get a, a patch. For yeah, the we have it. Yeah, we're on it. Well, she she it. does work with Pittsburgh Children, yeah. so we oh. were just talking about <laughs> yeah. maybe bringing back a death stroke kind of yes. patch yes. for the kids yeah. or something. Yeah, like a super villain. Yeah, how do you, yes? Yeah. How do you defeat the super villain? Yeah, villain. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
Well, um, Tyler and Elizabeth, your family has been through so much, and we want y'all to get some rest and relaxation and some fun. You deserve it. Uh, so we're sending you on a four-night family vacation to Atlantis in the Bahamas, which you're going to love. It's home to the world's largest open-air marine habitat. It's beautiful. Uh, plus, it's got the Aqu Aqua Venture Water Park. Who doesn't love a water slide, y'all? The iconic Mayan Temple's Leap of Faith slide, 14 unique pools, white sand beaches, live entertainment, dining, and more. You're gonna love it. He's like, I need a drink. <laughs>